Tonight we're watching Renardo Green, cornerback out of Florida State. He's six foot tall, 188 pounds. He is matched up for much of this game versus LSU over Malik Neighbors. He's at the top of our screen over Malik, number eight on number eight. He's going to come down with an interception. Kind of difficult to see from this perspective. From the end zone angle, you'll notice that Neighbors has lost his footing. He's on the ground. You might think, well, of course, uh, that's an easy pick. But we'll watch a few plays and see what led up to this pick. Sticky in phase corner. And the fact that they lined him up against Malik one-on-one -on -one with very little help throughout this game says a lot about him. You'll see Neighbors here very explosive off the line of scrimmage. Just a little jam, turns to run with him. Now watch this double move, very, very slick right there. And he stays in phase with him, but you'll notice there's just a little bit of room. There's a bit of separation with Renardo still leaning outside if the throw is on time. Watch that again, just impressive coverage against a very, very impressive receiver. And again, this, in my opinion, builds up to the interception. I'll bring again to mind how much confidence they have in him in covering number eight throughout this game. He's on his own one-on-one -on -one, covering one of the best receivers in the country. That deep safety is not going to make it over if he gets beat deep here. So there is a lot riding on his coverage. This is the third time uh, Neighbors has run a similar looking route with this breakdown, comeback. And you can see very little separation. The throw is on time and on target, but Renardo brings him down right away. Again, I am of the opinion that Renardo is collecting information on how this route is being run, picking up on little tells perhaps that lead to the interception. Again, this is the third time he sees this kind of move on a comeback. Neighbors makes it look like a go, breaks it down. Gets that little tiny bit of separation. I like how he breaks in front of Renardo there. This was not a perfect game by Renardo. There are two times, I recall, where Renardo got separation uh, with in-breaking routes. Um, he gets beat off the line here on the very first play of the game. The receiver isn't targeted. But what you see in watching him in this game is, to me, more than enough evidence that he's going to be a very good man cover uh, a man corner in the NFL. To my mind, Renardo got stronger and stronger through the course of this game. This image says a lot. Renardo's at the bottom of our screen, one-on-one. -on -one. He has no safety help. The quarterback wants that deep route. You can see there's a lot of information just in this image, and the quarterback's going to go away. I believe he just checks it down. Now he escapes the pocket. I'm pretty sure the quarterback is reading this safety pre-snap, post-snap, decides he wants neighbors on the outside, but you don't get any better coverage than this. I haven't seen the numbers on Malik Neighbors, but I'm assuming he runs pretty fast. Looks like Renardo has easy speed. He has to go through a little bit of traffic here off the ball. He does have help inside. Um, neighbors is going to run this bender route. This is what the quarterback wants. He is reading that safety. Plenty of time in the pocket. He's probably going to take a shot to the corner if there's any separation, but he's really in stride, in phase, in the hip pocket of neighbors here. Watch it again. Once again, on his own, this is high pressure, high stakes, a pro receiver versus a pro DB. Fourth and one right at the goal line. That's who the quarterback wants all along. Check out the tight, tight coverage. Cutting off the inside to the receiver, squeezing him to the back of the end zone. Perhaps you'd like to see him turn, try to make a play on this ball because there's about a hand's worth of separation here. Just a great job in coverage, though and it's an incompletion. Watch it again. He's the outside corner, very comfortable in these if this, then that types of man match coverages. You'll see that here. He's gonna pass off the in-breaking route. 
get the tight end and make a tackle before he gets to the end zone. I can't wait to watch more Renardo Green. I've only watched these two games, Florida and LSU, but in some respects, I've seen everything I need to see. Perhaps I'll do another video on him. I would have no qualms picking him uh, in round two if he's available. I've seen him mocked lower than that, which is surprising. This guy appears to be a corner you can put on the other team's best receiver with minimal help, and I don't think he's going to let you down. Here he is at the bottom of our screen. This speaks to his play recognition. An end around. Watch him stay home on that. Get off the block. Really physical tackle. We'll watch it from the end zone angle. 